Welcome, brothers and sisters. Thank you guys for coming to the daily morning heart devotion. And we'd like to start off by offering a bow to our heavenly parent, true parents. Chonjin Champumonimke Kyongbe Paro. Next, I'd like to invite up Reverend Milhan Stevens for our family pledge. Can we get the screen to share or no? Just a moment, maybe I'll try this. You don't sharing? Uh, I don't see, just a second. Actually. Yeah. Actually, uh, my Zoom just froze. Okay, I can start. Yeah, start, mm -hmm. I'll get it. I'm going to Il, Tanyo Gok Chuin. 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 헌향 땅을 찾아 본연의 창조 이상인 지상 천국과 천상 천국을 창건할 것을 맹세하나이다. 이 천여국 주인 우리 가정은 참 사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님을 모시어 천주의 대표적 가정이 되며 중심적 가정이 되어 가정에서는 효자, 국가에서는 중심, 세계에서는 성인, 천주에서는 성자의 가정의 도리를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 3. 천혜의 극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 4대 심정권과 3대 왕권과 황족권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 4. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님의 창조 이상인 천주대 가족을 형성하여 자유와 평화와 평, 평화과 행복의 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 5. 천여극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 매일 주체적 천상 세계와 대상적 지상 세계의 통일을 향해 전진적 발전을 촉진화할 것을 맹세하나이다. 6. 천혜극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 하늘 부모님과 참 부모님의 대신 가정으로서 천연을 움직이는 가중이 되어 하늘의 축복을 주변에 연결시키는 가정을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 7. 천혜극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 본연의 혈통과 연결된 위하는 생활을 통하여 심정문화 세계를 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. 8. 천혜의 극 주인, 우리 가정은 참사랑을 중심하고 천혜의 극 시대를 맞이하여 절대 신앙, 절대 사랑, 절대 복종으로 신인의 일체 이상을 이루어 지상 천국과 천상 천국의 해방권과 석방권을 완성할 것을 맹세하나이다. Thank you, Reverend Milhan. And so next up, we'd like to have our opening prayer. And if we could have Mr. Kobayashi, you could unmute yourself and offer our opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Parent, we are now starting again morning devotion this morning. We really appreciate your word and message. Especially now we have been working and engaged in the God providence under the leadership to parents for past almost half century. And we remember early days of true parents pioneering years of this country, 
especially father came to America all by himself and visit every state, every important people, every important person, and appealed the God providence, especially at that time. Communism was a really big threat to the world. Of course, internally, communism was a big threat to our faith. They deny God. They really adamantly try to uh, conquer this world. Father so so strong and disappearing anti-communism or victory over communism. And uh, especially want America. America should be strong, stronger. And he he said already America uh, with the meeting the crisis. American, uh, the, the, if father sees America, already God is living America. And the father shed tears and uh, uh, said that uh, I came to this America as a firefighter and doctor. Uh, since then, father has been working and two parents have been working for every day without sleep, without any kind of uh, comfort, just w working for the uh, God providence. And we are so inadequate, but we are cold and we are so much uh, honored to follow <coughs> true parent leadership and providence. Thank you so much. And we uh, again came to this, this far, uh, 50 years later now, and we see America, American situation is not really ideal at all. It's not really what true parents wanted. So we really have to repent from the bottom of our heart. We, and we have to re-arm ourselves by word. And in, in this time of the very important critical time, uh, God sent uh, one leader, Dr. Yeon, and again uh, uh, woke us up uh, with God, God message and God word and God heart. Thank you very much again. We really want to start a new day here for another fight. And uh, this fight hopefully can really, and we totally de determined to de this fight can really de defeat Satan and wake up American people. Thank you so much. Uh, we want to have a, another fruitful day uh, today, starting with uh, this precious message from Heavenly Father, uh, Heavenly Parents, and through parents, and through God, uh, Doctor and uh, Mouse. Thank you so much again. I, I pray uh, and and I report all of this in the name of Masasa and Yoko Kobayashi, blessed and the family. Aju. Aju. Thank you, Kobayashi Sama. Hontoni, Kansha Shiteimas. Thank you, Kobayashi San. And so, welcome again, once again, all brothers and sisters. Thank you all for joining us for our morning devotion for today. And so, we're going to be breaking out into appreciate sharing our appreciation with all our brothers and sisters and for those of you watching the recording you can take time to reflect and have your own gratitude points so we'll see everyone in a few minutes
Welcome back, brothers and sisters. Hope you all had wonderful opportunities to share your gratitude and be able to inspire and uplift each other, but also to inspire a heavenly parent. Thank you all for sharing. And to start us off with sharing to the entire group, I'd like to invite up Mr. Hubert Heider. Mr. Heider, please unmute yourselves. Thank you. I was in a group with Mila and Stevens, and then uh, with, I didn't write down his name, but the Japanese brother, which I appreciate very much. Now, anyway, too many things to share, but quickly, uh, Mr. Stevens was saying that we have uh, the will, uh, but we many times we don't plan inadequately. Uh, or we, we don't plan well enough to make things happen. And it's so true, you know, I was sharing with them that when I was in Austria a few years ago uh, to visit my mom and my sister, because I don't have the chance to go there that many times. And uh, everything was planned. I really planned it, who to visit, when to visit them, what to give them, how, and even plant. Anyway, I visited at my mother's just before my mother passed away. So I even told her what to do and when to die. Because I know she was going to die any any minute, uh, any 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 day. And everything was like boom, 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 boom. The spirit world was like incredible. Everything was prepared. I didn't waste any second, any day. It was just that week was so packed because I had planned it and the spirit world had supported me. And, that, and my mother died exactly the day I told the spirit world that she could go because my sister was so preoccupied with so many other things. But so that... Uh, and she died the very same day. I had told the spirit world, mom, now you can go. And she did. Anyway, there's many more things, but the planning is really important. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Mr. Herbert. Your background is like uh, somewhere like uh, Switzerland or Alaska. So beautiful. You are like, it looks like a heavenly Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a painting from Italy, Italian oh. Alps on the Austrian oh, border. So nice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you. your sharing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hyder. And secondly, I'd like to invite up uh, Mr. Randy Orr to share Gratitude Point. Well, good morning, everybody. Yeah, this morning I was saying how uh, recently I've been thinking about uh, what Dr. Young called, Young called channel zero and how we get distracted by the world, by what's happening around us. And we look up, we look down, we look to the right and left, but our original mind helps to bring us back to channel zero. That's where we really want to be. That's where we receive a clear direction of how to live our life and how to proceed each day. So I'm grateful for that insight from Dr. Young about channel zero. It's my, uh, my theme every day, tune to the right channel. Wow, so beautiful. I'm so inspired to hear the, your reflection. Anyway, by the way, Randy, are you uh, such a handsome man? How you join our movement? No wondering. You know, you should be a movie star. Oh, you are so much a handsome man. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. You are heavenly handsome man and beautiful sharing. Come, Samira. You're welcome. <clears throat> Thank you, Uncle Randy. And so without much further ado, I'd like to move to the main program. So our Continental Director invests his heart and his devotion in his junk song every day. So I want to be able to receive it well and practice it and transform ourselves through that process. So without much further ado, good morning, Dr. Young. Yeah. 
안녕하세요. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ni hao ma? Bonjoua. Buenos dias. Buongiorno. Guten morgen. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Sawadika. Namaste. My dear brothers and sisters, 안녕하십니까? Yesterday I had a very beautiful experience. You know, I am doing, you know, one hour exercise every day, but I could not uh, visit uh, some of the our blessed family uh, inside the Belvedere Training Center. Yesterday, I luckily, I had a chance to visit to this family. Dominic, Kajuko, Babo family, and then Masahiro, Takae, Shimizu family, they are living together. I was so happy to meet them and talk to them. Since I visit them and then came back on the way, I think that, wow, how can I visit to each one of the, our beloved American uh, brothers and sisters of family. I really pray someday I'd like to visit to your home and then talk to you, share with you. That is my heart. Uh, yesterday I talked about, you know, then uh, how can you prepare for on uh, execute your task. First, you need to think a lot more than anyone else. God's creation started from thinking, you know, thinking. And then secondly, set a clearer goal and plan than anyone else. Without goals, without vision, you cannot accomplish anything. That's why vision and goal is important. When you set a very clear and goal, then you can focus on it. No vision, no goal, no direction. That's why people are really hanging around here and there. When you wake up early morning, you do not set up the daily your uh, schedule, what you are going to do without clear uh, set up the goal from early morning and uh, without any determination as well, then that day just waste time. You know, just quickly just pass. That's why early morning you need to pray what will be happen today. And then you need to think about that, pray about that. You know, what are you going to do? Set up even daily your goal what you are going to do without clear plan today and then just waste your time. Hmm? That's why you, when you set up your goal, today's plan, then your daily life is so precious, so valuable. Thirdly, you need to prepare more thoroughly than Anyone else, preparation is important, preparation. Preparation is normally two thirds of the time or a third of the first and prepare and prepare and prepare. You know, Jung Song is a preparation. Preparation is a Jung Song is that I'm talking about. No preparation, then surely you fail. No preparation means that is a guarantee, you surely will fail. No preparation means you are already ready to be failed. That's why I always need to prepare. Preparation is a prepaid condition, prepaid price, very important. And the last one, take action more than anyone else. Okay, thinking is okay, setting up goal is okay, preparation is okay, 
What's the final thing? Need to take action. Somebody think too much. Sometimes somebody prepare too much. Somebody set up the goal too much. However, no take action does not make any sense. Especially our unification is thing and thing and thing. That's fine. Sometimes, of course, we are useless thinking. But our one of the our one of the serious problem is what? No take action. Okay, I need to do, I need to visit to Christian church, I need to visit to neighbor, I need to call, 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 but delay and delay again, finally don't take action. This is the one of the serious problems also. That's why you need to remember our true parents' three areas of secret, how to become champion. You need to think more than anyone else. You set up the goal very clearly. Prepare uh, thoroughly more than anyone else. Finally, take action more than anyone else. Wow, Father, give us a very, very clear guidance. Today, I'd like to talk about believers should always be meek and humble. This is also very, very important guidance by our true parents. Well, uh, let's invite up our heavenly honey to read for the school. Believers should always be meek and humble. Believers should always be meek and humble. You need to be meek and humble from beginning to end. The position in which you can become able is a meek and humble position. It is Abel's path to pray for others, to receive blessings, even if he loses and is deprived of everything. Thank you, Heavenly Honey. I want to give you a question. Why should I be meek and humble? Why? Think about it. Why should I be meek and humble? Why? According to my understanding, we are fallen men. We are not potter. Why should I be meek and humble? Because I am on offering. Just now, Father here said, the position which you can become able is meek and humble position. Why? Because I am on offering. Able's position is the position of the offering. Offering is a place on behalf of heavenly parents, history, world, and nation. I was chosen and born as an offering. There are so many people. Can you imagine that? There are 7.8 billion people. Then how many of them know divine principle? How many of them know true parents? Can you imagine? God is working through our 6,000 years, but how many people really understand God's will? How many people really understand God's sort of heart? How many people can you understand God's wish? And then how many people really, really participate in God's providence? And then how many people really can take action? How many people? Almighty God using such small numbers. Small numbers. Therefore, I was chosen guy. I was born as an offering. Can you imagine among 7.8 billion people, God 
choose me as a chosen guy. God need to rely on me. Almighty God need to rely on me. Oh my God. Entire spiritual world need to rely on me. 7.88 people need to rely on me. Can you imagine? I am on offering. Offering is a place on behalf of heavenly parents, on behalf of the history, 6,000 years history, on behalf of the world, 7.88 billion, pe billion people. I am offering for the sake of the nation. That's why I am not myself. I am a representative of God. I am a representative of true parents. I am a representative of the history. I am the representative of the world and nation. That's why I am on historical offering. So as a historical offering, can be arrogant? Can you insist on your own self? Cannot be. I am the representative. God is the greatest, greatest God, and He's really goodness, no evil. Then you know, you know, to become representative of God, I should be like that. God is meek and humble. I have to be, you know, to become representative. I have to be meek and then, eh, and then humble, because I am on offering. Could you read this Bible verse? Uh, yes, Ma Matthew 5, 38 to 42. You have heard that it was said, eye for eye and tooth for tooth. 39, but I tell you, do not resist an evil person. If anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the other cheek also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile, go with them two miles. Give to the one who asks you and do not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Wow. I really totally admire by Jesus' word and his guidance. Even though he did not explain clearly, but Father explained very clearly what is the Satan's strategy and what is God's strategy. And then our true parents discover very clearly Satan's strategy and God's strategy. You do not know Satan's, Satan's strategy. Always you are defeated all the time. However, if you know God's strategy, you always win. Win over Satan. Then what's the Satan's strategy? Satan's strategy is to beat first, hit first and be taken away. And then God's strategy is to be beaten first and take away. Wow. When Satan sent Satan to beat you first, and then he, he will be taken away. That's why when Satan hit you, beat you that time, you have to be really, really humble, and meek. If you are really humble at the time, when Satan hit you, and then finally you can take take back, take away from Satan. Wow, this is an amazing strategy. But no one discover. If we know Satan's strategy and God's strategy. Everybody can win, win over. Everybody become uh, what is that? Humble and meek. The Bible here talking about. 
you have heard, you have heard that it was said eye for eye and tooth for tooth. This is a secular world, satanic way. But Jesus said, "But I tell you, do not resist an evil person. No need to give and take. If you give and take with the evil person, you are same category person." When you give and take with the evil person, when he angry with you, and then you also, you know, you know, take back to him, then you are same level. You are same level. And then Jesus said here, if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to them the, the other cheek also. Wow. Why? If Satan is to beat first, surely will be taken away. <laughs> taken away. And then here. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. Wow. I really, really admire by Jesus' guidance. This is the way to surrender Satan. This is, the way, this is the way how to overcome your enemy. You know, you see here, if anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt and hand over your coat as well, not just only shirt, just even, even your, your coat you need to give to that person and then totally surrender. Natural, I'm talking about natural surrender. If you're using the strategy eye for eye and for, for and tooth for tooth, you never get any natural surrender from your enemy. How to surrender enemy only this way? If anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, hand over your coat as well. If anyone forces you to go one mile and go with them two miles. <laughs> then Satan ran away. Oh my God, this guy. What kind of guy this guy? Give to the one who asks you to not turn away from the one who wants to borrow from you. Wow. Jesus is a great, great example. Really, really example how to surrender Satan. And then our true parents, very clever how to win Satan. I'm talking about the natural surrender. Satan's strategy is to beat first and be taken away. And God's strategy is to be beaten first and take away. Wow, this is really, really great. The reason why should I be meek and humble at the significance of the, of the offering? I want to repeat again and again. Number one, the reason I should be meek and humble is because I am an offering. The offering cannot assert itself. Right? The first condition of the offering is to be me and humble. You look at Noah, completely obey to God, become humble in front of God, completely humble. That's why he became historical offering. You look at I, the Abraham, completely humble. Whatever God order, he's ready to kill his son Isaac. And uh, so you look, look at Isaac, how much he obedient and humble. When his father want to kill him as offering, he did not, you know, reject him. You look at the Jesus. Jesus know that he need, he, he need to go to the cross. No other way. No foundation. He humbly accepted All central figures, a common point is what? All 
always meek and humble. That's why they have qualification to become offering, historical offering. You know, Rome, chapter 9, 21, we know we already studied through the, you know, our divine principle. Does not Porto have the right to make a fancy bowl and a plain bowl out the same lump of clay? You know, my brothers and sisters, you are a Porto or a you are a what is that? You are a one you know one of the lump of lump of clay. Your position is a lump of clay. We are fallen men. Other men, even why they fall, they insist on their own opinion. The offering cannot assert, assert itself. We cannot insist on our own opinion. Then God, as a porter, as a creator cannot change me. Who can change me? I cannot change by myself. I am patient. Only doctor can cure me. Who is a porter? God is a porter. That's why he, God, in order to, you know, to about how to say, you know, uh, revive me, then what was what my condition? I have to be offering. I come Pretty deny myself. It's up to God. God make a fancy ball or a plain ball. It's up to you. My position is just a position of the lump of clay. Is it true? God wants to create you, but if you insist on your own opinion, my opinion is like that. I want to be like that. I am thinking is like that. Then how can I God create you? Recreate you? How can I, how Heavenly Father re, re, revive you? Because you have your own thing, your own opinion. You're supposed to be a lump of the clay. How can you choose? I want to be a fancy ball. I want to be a plain ball. You don't have any qualification to choose. As a fallen man, completely need to deny yourself. Without denying yourself, God as a porter cannot create you. We need to know about this point. And then Isaiah chapter 45 and 9, verse 9. Very interesting. Why you have no right to argue with your creator? You are merely clay uh, pot shaped by a potter. Does the clay say to the potter, what are you making? Does your work say the potter has no hands? <laughs> we are just what? We are just a lump of clay and then ask God, can we ask God, what are you making? What are you making? Can you ask God, what are you making? What are you doing? Your fallen nature, your fallen man. Adam and Eve insist on their own opinion. They are a different opinion. God's point of view. Adam and, Eve, Adam and Eve's point of view. They did a made a fall. If I have my own opinion, I want to go according to my own desire, then have distance from God. Then you cannot become God's sons and daughters. You cannot become offering. As an offering, I completely need to unite with the porter. I completely need to unite with the creator. Then what was the, my situation? I completely do completely have to be a meek and humble. I don't have a qualification. I cannot ask God, what are you making? You know hands? I cannot say like that. You need to know that you are reality, you are identity. 
You are fallen man. That's why let God create me. Let creator create me. Let Potter create me. I am the portion of the portion of the one, just only simple lump of clay. Then God can God can create me. Very important. Self denial. Have to be me and humble. Abel is in the position of the offering. Therefore, Abel should be more meek and humble than anyone else. Someone normally fallen man normally have the position and then using the, his authority and position, you know, and then all the here and there. That's why Cain is struggling and struggling without showing the example, just order. And then using the divine principle, you need to follow me. You need to obey to me. Without showing the example. That's why Cain is struggling and struggling and struggling and struggling. Therefore, as the able position is what? You should be more meek and humble than anyone else. Then everybody has to follow. However, in our movement, was the position of able? Our position of the able in our unification movement. How can I kill more Cain? How can I kill more Cain? How to kick out my Cain? Able position cannot be like that. What's the condition? First, the condition to become able. Number one, you should be. Me and humble. Very important because able position is a position of what? Offering. Offering. Aragon is the vanguard of a collapse, as you know that. Aragon is a Satan's typical character. I joined church a little more than 46 years ago. I, I could see so many senior blessed family leaders and my friend everywhere. But one thing I realized that those who are arrogant cannot remain church. Secondly, second common point, you need to know that. Everybody know that. Those who are arrogant always have chapter two problem. That's why I, when I see someone is really arrogant, he anytime can fall. Because Satan's final goal is to make him fall. That's why those who are arrogant, very, very dangerous. And they become instrument of Satan. That's why I'm saying, arrogant is the vanguard of collapse. Arrogant is Satan's typical, uh, typical character. You are arrogant. You say that God, God does not exist. What are you talking about, God? Your opinion is very strong. Those who are arrogant, not to hear other person's opinion. You talk more. Do not listen. You insist on your own opinion. No humble down. And then become more arrogant and self-centered. And finally, connect to fornication. That's why. You look at that. Any first generation, second generation, any elders, those who have money, those who have position, those who have more intellect, very, very dangerous. That's why life of faith is what? You should be me and humble all the time.
All the time. All the time. Offering is a place to hold religious service on behalf of heavenly parents, history, the world, and the nation. You need to know about that. I am a, I am on historical offering. I am continental director. I am a continental level offering. You are tribal messiah means you are tribal level offering. You are national leader. You are national offering. You are sub-regional leader. You are sub-regional sub leaders level offering. Offering of the sub-regional, sub-region. How can I be adamant? Cannot. You are offering. Your, your offering cannot insist on your own opinion. Only your job is completely unite with the porter. Unite with God. Unite with the true parent. How can you say this and that all kind of complain? Cannot. Then you, you cannot be a offering. No qualification to become offering. <clears throat> if I complain, I lose the qualification of the offering. That's why I told you a complain. Cannot become offering. Cannot become the leader. As a leader, as an able position, was the most important requirement. You should be me and humble. Even in the Bible, it is said that a humble person takes a possession of the, of the land. Matthew 5.5 5. God blesses those who are humble. The earth will belong to them. What does it mean? Why? Those who are humble, why they why they get uh, the why they can inherit from the owner? Why? For example, in the family, you don't have uh, your own successor, your own child, but your servant works so hard, really humble. You are better than your son. Those who are humble. I want to give everything to him. Humble means what? Obedience. Humble. Meek means obedience. Obedience means what? Oneness. You and me completely become oneness. Then you can inherit everything. The oils belong to you. The land belong to you. My property belong to you. That's why I told you are humble. You can get it everything from heaven. You can get it everything from your able. But you are arrogant. I want to. I don't want to pass. You have ten children, twelve children, thirteen children, twenty children. Your property, your owner, your honor. Do you want to give it to whom? Because of the first son, because of the second son, because you are third son, because you are clever, doesn't matter. Who can become successor? Who is big and humble? Who can unite with the parents? No unity? Doesn't want to unite? Won't you know, run away from the parents? And oppose parents, how can you can become successor? Bible say clearly, very clearly here mentioned that. It is said that a humble person takes a position, become the owner, become successor. You can inherit everything. Here mentioned. Those who are complaining run away, disunity with the parents, you cannot become successful. Cannot. Jesus teaches very clearly here, 
God bless those who are humble. You like with the parent, you like with God, you know, you like with the central figure. The oils will belong to them. Property belong to them. Everything belong to them. He can take ownership. What's the condition? Be me and humble. Do you agree with me? Jesus teach me. Jesus teach us. Very clear. You have 10 children, 12 children. Among your 10 children, 12 children, all your property, your owner, your position, give to whom? Graduate very famous university? Because of the first son? Because of the second son? Because of your last son? <laughs> Who can get it? Who can take the possession? You should be humble. You are offering, you cannot complain. You are complaining, you are no qualification to become offering. Wow, that's why Father is saying you need to be. Me and humble, what, 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 what to say, until end? All the time. All the time. All the time. God choose and walk with the most obedient among the central figures. Right? You look at Noah, how much he humble. Isaac, you look at Isaac, Abraham, Jacob, Moses, Jesus. All our central figures, the common point is what? They are obedient people. Really, really obedient people. I really learn from Jesus' guidance. I really learn central figures. I need. I learn from father and mother. The safest, my safe, safest way to choose a partner for your children. See if they are humble and obedient. I have three children. All of them receive blessings. Start a family. When I choose them, number one condition. I don't care their background. I don't care their father and mother good or not. Of course, I'm missionary. That's why I want to choose from missionary family background. But internal content should be humble and obedient. Then, then everything is okay. Those who are arrogant uh, insist on their own opinion. They cannot become my children's spouse. That is our, my determination with my wife. Even though poor, even graduate just high school, my first son's spouse just graduate high school. My three children's spouse, all of them are missionary family background. My brothers and sisters, have to be me and humble. Then become offering. You are offering. You are chosen offering. You are historical offering. Humility means that you always think of God first and others first. If you insist on your own opinion, you have artistic distance from God. Those who live for the sake of others are always humble because they think of others first. Those who think others first automatically humble down because you first, my wife first, my object partner first, God first, I am secondary. You first, you first means you are meek and humble. 
absolute obedience is the most valuable among absolute faith, absolute love, absolute obedience. Why? Is it possible to obey when you don't love? Is it possible to obey when you don't believe? <laughs> obedience, obedience means I already trust you. I already love you. That's why I can obey you. That's why Father said, absolute faith, absolute love, absolute obedience. What's the absolute obedience? Absolute obedience outcome of the absolute faith and absolute love. That's why Father said, absolute obedience, in some sense, is the greatest, greater than absolute faith and love. Amazing guidance. Today I teach you so, so good things and all the secret. Oh my God. Give me donation. Conclusion. How can I be meek and humble person? Number one, think that I am a historic offering. Do not forget it. As long as you remember this word, I am a historic offering chosen by God. I was born as a historic offering. You need to think always. I was born as a historic offering. Secondly, think that as long as I have a fallen nature, I am nothing. God is a creator. God is my potter. That's why I have to need to deny. I am nothing. I am nothing. I am nothing. I am just a lump of clay. Then automatically become humble. Even though graduate Harvard University, Tokyo University, Seoul University, you need to think that I am nothing. I am just a lump of clay. As long as I carry on fallen nature, I need to revive. I need to born again. And what's the third point? Do not, do not succumb. Do not succumb to strategy of Satan. If you do not know Satan's strategy, definitely you are defe defeated. Satan's strategy to beat first and be taken away. And God's strategy to be beaten first and take away. That's why you know Satan's strategy. God's strategy, you always win automatically. You can be a meek and humble person. Aju, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Young. And so now we'd like to go into our breakouts to share our reflections and insights with each other. So we'll see everyone in a few minutes.
Thank you so much for sharing with each other and really opening your hearts. So for the group sharing, share before everyone else, I'd like to first invite up Mrs. Akemi Hirose to share with us. Okay. Uh, hey, yes. Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, I was a breakout room with uh, one of the second generation couple uh, who's having a baby in the uh, next few, like uh, any, any time, 39 weeks. And they have like uh, so much heart and uh, like uh, struggles, but they try to overcome them. But uh, family makes me like uh, think about, I, I really need to become meek and humble. Yes. And uh, yeah. Uh, and then everyone, uh, Dr. Yon said, I think, think that um, I am a historic offering. Mm. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure how I can offer to the world. Mm. Mm. But, but looking at that couple makes me uh, thinking about, I really need to be humble myself. Mm. Yeah, right. You are right. Thank you. Thank you so much. 감사합니다. 네. Thank you, Mrs. Hirose. And next up, I'd like to ask Ms. Risako Yonatani to share this morning. Please unmute yourself. Good morning. Yes. Um, the part that stood out to me, actually the same part that Akinisan was saying, um, like as an offering, um, as a second generation, how can I offer my life? Like what my what should my actions be? I was just reflecting about it, just writing it down right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so I was very surprised that I was called, but I was thinking like, yeah, I, I should really, be humble mm -hmm. um you really went deep into that and i was able to really receive it today um mm -hmm. like if i want to live a life of service um i really want to embody this humbleness um and i was very touched by um the bible quote of the potter mm -hmm. um when you said when it said like doesn't a potter have the right to make a fancy bowl and a plain bowl out of the same lump of clay? Mm -hmm. It made me think about like, wow, like I am in the hands of God and it's up to me mm -hmm. uh, by receiving like God's advice. Like if mm -hmm. I can become a fancy bowl or um, a plain bowl. Mm -hmm. So you said afterward, like um, as a fallen person, you, you need to completely deny yourself. Mm. Um, so I was like, oh my gosh, I really need to deny myself. And yeah, it just really stood out to me. And um, thank you, Dr. Young, for giving us this um, morning devotion. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. All our second generation who are living in Cup Center, Kamsamida, I love you all. Kamsamida, thank you. Have a nice day. Kamsamida. Thank you, Risako. And so we'd like to now go into our closing prayer. And so I'd like to invite up Mrs. Mihoko Gonzalez to please unmute yourself and offer our closing prayer. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Parent and True Parent, thank you so much. Every morning, you give us precious word. We're so grateful, Dr. Young's internal guidance. Every morning, we can practice, we can use it daily life to grow ourselves. Father, we are really want to unite with your heart 
Plead, let us no more your suffering heart, painful heart. How much you be suffering all human history, Father, to look for your children. So, Father, we want to really determine ourselves, Father, every day, Father, to really liberate your heart, liberate your soulful heart. Your mother is so much working hard to really reach out to all the humankind, Father, so we can be an instrument of you, Father, to reach out to your children, Father, to come back to you, Father. Father, this morning devotion is so precious, Father. The brothers and sisters here, uniting together, learning together, and sharing together. So we are so grateful for this holy community and brothers and sisters. So please let us determine today, Father, to really uh, work for your way, Father. Especially to Mother is coming, Father, June, Father. So we really want to prepare ourselves a clear goal and then reach out uh, every day step by step. Father. Thank you so much for everything, your guidance. I offer this prayer in the name of Hoka Gonzalez, best central fan, Arjun. Okay, Kamsamida, thank you, Miyoko san, Kamsamida. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you, Miyoko san, for your heartfelt prayer. And so, brothers and sisters, we're going to go into our unison prayer now. So please unmute yourself. Let's pray together. Good morning.
Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you all for really praying with us together, offering devotion, really preparing to receive Mother America. Yeah, if everyone would be able to mute themselves and be moving forward. And so as we receive so much blessing and revival, so much life from Dr. Young today, this morning devotion, that we have an opportunity now to be able to share that with our brothers and sisters. And so we say this every day. This may seem kind of repetitive, but it's so important for us to share the blessings that we receive and bless others with that. So please, for those of you in here in person today, invite one more person. For those of you watching the recording, we yeah, encourage even just joining the experience here live with our brothers and sisters here and with our Continental Director. And additionally, one more thing is that every day we also send this reminder about a donation, not to push everyone, but it's really to, from our hearts, if we're touched by the message and really feel gratitude and we want to be able to share even just a small donation, then we can be able to offer something. So right down below or in the chat, you're going to see the donation link. So making any small donation there. And finally, we have the musical offering. And so today we have a father-son duo from the East Coast. And so I'd like to invite up Christopher and Hannah Bush to share with us a song. Hello. Good morning, everybody. Wow, so beautiful, father and daughter. My God, yes. this is amazing. <laughs> Um, thank you so much for today's message. Just amazing. Uh, I wrote down, just as gratitude is our armor against Satan, meekness and humility is the secret weapon in responding to Satan's hits and attacks. That means that each hit is a chance to claim another victory. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank that. you. Great. Okay. So we, we, well, that's not my offering. I'm <laughs> going to sing a song. Uh, this is a song that was originally written as a children's hymn in 1931 by Eleanor Farjan. Uh, she was a, a British author of children's stories and plays and poetry. And the song didn't become internationally popular until after she died when it was discovered and performed by Cat Stevens, who is now known as Yusuf Islam. Um, and a little heads up, we took the liberty to add a fourth verse for it's tailored specifically for those of you attending uh, this morning devotion. So, uh, <coughs> let me get the starting note here. <coughs> Just the wrong one. Morning has broken like the first morning. Blackbird has spoken like the first bird. Praise for the evening. Praise for the morning. Praise for the spring. Fresh from the word. Sweet the rain's new fall, sunlit from heaven, like the first dew fall on the first grass. Praise with the sweetness of the wet garden, sprung in completeness, where his feet pass. Mine is the sunlight, mine is the morning, born of the one light, Eden saw play. Praise with elation, praise every morning, God's recreation of the new day. Morning, Morning 
sunshine jump starts our morning every word spoken flows from god's heart sincerest john song grateful each morning we love you dr young we'll do our part Thank you. Laura, Laura, beautiful song is. Thank you so much for your beautiful offering song. Kamsamida. Thank you so much, uh, Christopher and Hannah Bush. Thank you so much for sharing that, and thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining us together on morning devotion. We hope to see everyone and more tomorrow morning. So God bless. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Hey, hello. Oh, thank you. 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 Thank you.